I'm sorry. Uh, and there's no I've other... I've been following in great interest the, uh, yeah. the, 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 the uh, health care. Well, he's in one. You know, yeah. Yes. It's but getting close. Awesome. No, no. It is. Yeah, and they yeah, have a great program. I saw them around the center. It's just that he said that wasn't going to be able to be here. I have to work with him. I'm doing it. Thank you. I appreciate it. They never impacted their budget. Anyway, they are speaking before the... Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me, gentlemen. This, this meeting... Excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me, gentlemen. This, this meeting is... No, no. They're still on. Yeah, what I'm hearing is George is saying he's happy about the national program. You're with him anyway first. No. So, so, but I could be wrong. I, you know, I don't think anybody knows. I don't think anybody knows. The state of the world. Everybody would get the same level of um, the health care as... Oh, that would be super interesting. Okay. Now, did you get the picture? It's quite a bit And you're getting away from universal health care. We're getting into it. This seems like a sweet idea for the insurance company. Oh, that's the very huge... Anyway, we have these. Um, Thank you, Mark. Wait till, till Mark is here. Good to see you. You know, Jim's here for the next two weeks, starting Friday. Yeah. I'll keep him down. Yeah. I'm good, thank you. <laughs> you know, um, Jim Chapin. Jim. Yes. I told her I expected. Jim Chapin. That's Mary's husband. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's his. Uh, and what's his brother's name? Danny. No. He worked at Water and Sewer. Eddie. Eddie Paul. Yeah. Paul Chapin. Paul Chapin. Was it? He was like director of operations or something. Uh, right. A long time so. ago. No? Was he? No. I don't. I think that must have been a different Chapin. No. No. It was. His, it was. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I could have the name wrong. Anyway, okay. uh, we have our summary of items uh, here. Do, actually, let me give you a couple other things that I'm going to ask you to sign along with this. Is this the Creative Commuting Contest memo? If you guys could initial that, I will distribute that uh, for lab with all the uh, with all the forms. That's where people uh, can take various creative the creative commuting so they can vehicles. forms forms of getting to work. Yep. And this is the week of June 22nd week. through. June 26th, so you can uh, use your bicycle, your airplane, which... Um, well, if only yeah. if it's an energy efficient airplane. That's right, that's right. So Roger can't fly to the uh, commission no. meetings from down in Unless he takes a lot of people. Yeah, uh, or he could do a glider, maybe. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so then, uh, so you can bike, or walk, or swim. Or train. Or train, or, or bus, sail. Or sail, or yes. horse. People or bus, or take their horses. Um, uh, but we're being facetious. It's to yes, encourage people to, to use, use alternative, alternate forms of transportation, forms. Well, and especially in, public and transportation. the bus this, would this, be this the best. Is, this is a little bit late, uh, you know, as far as people seeing it. But tomorrow is Dump the Pump Day, for encouraging everybody to use public transportation, half price fares, and stuff. Like okay, that. all right. I didn't know that. It's in the paper. I guess it's in the I paper. I haven't, I haven't had a chance. Oh, yeah. So you just need an initial on this. So if you got at the top under where your where your names are, your commissioners, right there. Yeah, just initial that YouTube bill, and I will distribute that. Um, I have a dredge contract for between us and the town of Dennis. If you could take care of that. Yes. I do have actually uh, an N star easement. We are splitting the meter out here between. Right now we have one line coming in feeds Superior Court and Deeds and Probate. We're going to split that meter because um, it will help us be energy efficient. So if you can take care of that. Energy efficient meter. No, that's it. But it'll help us measure what the energy consumption is here and what the energy consumption is okay. over there. Right. So that's what we're trying to do. And then. So there's that. Did you catch on? I mean, as, as, a, as an old member of C5713, you know, what, the meter standard, you know, the meters just measure what you use. That's all they do. Is yes, you may continue, Mark. And then um, I have in my hands the Cook and Company Workers' Compensation Renewal Contracts. 
and I have spoken to Melody Barlow at Cooking Company. Cooking Company, as you know, is our third party administrator for workers comp. Okay. And I've apprised her of the situation with respect to the sheriff and his potential to go to the state. And so what she suggested is we um, sign that contract, implement that contract. They, they bill us on a quarterly basis anyways. If the sheriff goes to the state, we contract, we'll con cancel that contract. If he goes to the state at some time in the future, say January 1st, which is what I'm hearing, we'll cancel that contract and if we need their services, um, we can do then another six month contract. So I'm comfortable with that. The reason I say if is, is when the sheriff goes to the state, I'm going to seek a quote for full workers' comp coverage. Right now we're self-insured and we have an excess workers' comp policy. I would seek full coverage for everyone left except for the sheriff. And the rate would be pretty favorable, I think, because most of the losses are associated with the sheriff's department. Do you need everyone's signature on this? It only has I need two. Here. You need two. I need so you two to, to sign it, you and Bill, and that uh, will make it official. Um, No, 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 okay. I only have an informational stuff, ahead. so. Um. um, what was my question? All right, the sheriff, I just wanted to, uh, the takeover, they're very concerned. I mean, it's our understanding that even though the money would be taken over by the state, the dispatch is not at um, risk here. And so what does that mean? Or, uh, yeah. Uh, let, me, let me explain. Right now, all of the sheriff's functions, including the 911, the dispatch, the um, uh, radio repair, the BCI, Bureau of Criminal Investigation, all of those functions, would go to the state. Mm -hmm. They would be under the state's control. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's been that, that's, it's kind of been the assumption every time the um, transfer issue has come up. Um, it's been the assumption and no one's questioned that assumption because I think of a couple of things. One, the sheriff has always said that's you know the, these services are going to continue. It's not going to be an issue. Okay. Two, the history of the state with all the other assumed sheriff has always been that they really haven't impacted what the sheriffs have done. Um, so I think that assumption has been there. I would say uh, Senator O'Leary did include an amendment, and I can't remember what exactly that amendment. I believe it got passed that dealt with some of those questions. Of course, he can't guarantee funding long-term for all of these. Does that include the uh, hospital piece? No, it's just a little That's bit different. It guaranteed, thing. I think, that if the state ever wanted to con close down those services, I believe what it said was we had the option of kind of picking them up and running them if we wanted to. I think that's what his guarantee was. Getting back to the, you know, the issue with the hospitals, I understand that they've been meeting with uh, President you know, uh, Murray about that, right. and that uh, she has been, at least what I've read in the paper, that she's been supportive of, you know, let's say, of uh, beyond October. Right now... Well, uh, my understanding of what they're supportive of is special legislation that would allow um, a bill to be imposed on whoever's using yeah. the service it would be on their health insurance. It would transfer it to the yeah. co to the cost originator, yeah. which would be the, uh, you know, which would It'd be, be a charge. Be, exactly. Yeah, it would be it would be a communications charge that would be added to the ambulance service. Correct. That's what. But they'd have to have legislation to pass for that. I, I think yes. That's my that's my understanding is they would need special legislation to do that. You can't it, do that right now yeah, because if you take if if you if you were paying for the cost of an ambulance as part of a, you know, as, as part of a recovery or seeking emergency services, all the costs that are associated with the ambulance, to me, are eligible for reimbursement by your insurance. I apparently that's not. I I couldn't argue no, specifics I mean, I, no, I just, bill, but I, apparently I that's not that, the case right now. I find that uh, interesting. I, it just. So that's what they're doing. I, and I was just looking quickly at our schedule. Next week we have the solid waste 
uh, update coming in. The week after that, we're doing the water uh, uh, no, that's the water different. protection collaborative. That's different than the solid waste uh, update that we got from CMAS, right? Yeah, at, we, okay. yeah, we're going to okay. ask. Uh, so we're not mission. going to have Andy next week. No, he's the first. It's two weeks. Okay. And he's the first. So the next chance we really get to have the sheriff, especially at the jail, is the eighth of July. Okay. That's okay with you. And and I also would like to ask that we ask uh, Kate Care there. Uh, just because I thought Pat wasn't going to be able to be here and I, I wasn't going to be able to, to stay in between. Uh, they are meeting with the assembly today, so, yeah. and they're giving a full presentation of, it's been a couple of years since they've been there. Their conversation with us was just going to be sort of a quick update. So could we put them on the calendar for the 17th? How about, um, you don't want them on the July 1st, we could do both. I, I don't think they can do oh, it July okay. 1st. So So July, what's the 15th it would be? Uh, 15th. Sure. I can okay. try. Um, and I'll confirm that with Brian. Or you can confirm that with Brian. Yeah. Uh, you have his information. Yep. Right. Um, uh, we do have to look at the um, this the CMED thing and see if we can work out something to put everybody at ease at least through the next year until legislation resolves it one way or another, hopefully. So, um, okay, so we'll meet with the sheriff on the 8th if uh, if that works for him. Yep. Okay. That's, what I, that's, what I'm that's good. Yeah. Um, and is there anything else? I just have some information on stuff. Well, you can, we want to do the votes? Uh, do let the us do the votes. Uh, I reviewed this and I had no problem. Did you have? No. Um, so I will make a motion that we accept and approve. Thank you. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Thank you. <coughs> so approved. Um, Ed, do you have any uh, questions for us? I have um, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, an invitation from the Town of Barnesville Growth Management and Community Services Departments inviting you to a meeting to discuss implementation of the Barnstable Village Plan Thursday, June 25th, 7 to 9 p.m. at St. Mary's Episcopal Church down the street here. 3055 Main Street. If I go into that Protestant church, will I be able to get out? <laughs> if you get, if you go into the church, well, they're not going to let I'll you out. You've got to turn your mind. You're going to have to St. James's in New York, but I can't tell it right now. <laughs> 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 that was June 25th. That was Thursday, June 25th. Yeah, twenty Thursday. Seven and it's to nine, I think. And you, you said so. Okay, here it is. Right here. Yeah, you can take it. It is uh, seven to nine. Yes. And you should have also Mary's. received an invitation to the AmeriCorps Cape Cod Year Ten graduation. You believe that? When is that? That July is Thursday, 7. July 23rd, nine to eleven thirty a.m. at the Tilden Art Center. Uh, my phone got ran over. That's not you must good. be. Uh, I got a cloud over with me. withdrawal. I right? got a cl yeah, it was. Well, you know what? For a whole day, I kept saying, "I'm not sure who's trying to get in touch with me." But I noticed you weren't looking down. Yeah, well, I, I haven't gotten any calls someone. from her. That's why uh, you can tell. Yeah, that, I know. Right? But Mark was happy. Is she like, <laughs> you're the one, you're the one of those people okay? that Mark, that, Mark that usually text, she she me, uh, text during meetings. Are you? Oh, heavens to Betsy! Yes. You can get the new iPhone. I want the new iPhone. I'll show you mine when I get it. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I want one because uh, I think it's it, they're easier to use. Oh, I it's had so many with my other one. It died again, and that was the fifth the one. Black and I said, yeah. no, the, um, it was a Verizon yeah. Uh, thing. Yeah, anyway. I know. I know. I, 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 it's, well, anyway, you won't show. Yeah, exactly. Be doing... Uh, Commercial or disparaging commercials against. Um, the other thing I could do, if you if you guys want to do it now, if not, I understand. Um, I we had a, a retirement board meeting um, on Monday, um, and it was a special meeting to go over an RFP we had done for a retirement system software. But that's but at the end we went over the retirement legislation that was recently yesterday I guess signed by the governor. I could go over that with you, but if you want to do that in the future, it's up to you. Um, Commissioner? It's up to you. Uh, how long will that? Just a few minutes. Well, then let's hear it. I, I would say, you know, and I said that to Bill, in general, if you're kind of a normal uh, public employee who has one, you know, job, one full-time job, 
this stuff's really, in general, not going to impact you in most ways, uh, maybe in some ways. But there are some sp significant changes that they did. I think one of the most significant one is, and it was the great debate, is whether this applies to new employees or everyone in the system. And they chose right now to make it applicable to everyone in the system. Mm -hmm. So that's probably a major one. Yeah, I think the other major um, change they made is they uh, 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 made some changes to the definition of regular compensation. That's been a big issue. Um, uh, that's been in the news a lot. It's been a big issue at the retirement board level. Um, so a Tell couple us what that means, regular compensation as opposed it's, to... It's, it's what retirement deductions are taken out of and what goes to impact what your actual retirement calculation will be. And that's why it's so significant, and that's why, it's, you know, oftentimes, either through special legislation or court cases, people will try to get things included, because it basically raises their um, ultimate retirement amount. So they've clarified some things for that. For example, they've taken out uh, clothing allowances, they've taken out uh, automobile usage, uh, which was a bone of contention for a number of years there. Um, and they've changed the definition um, in terms of amounts paid as early retirement incentives or any other payment made as a result of the employer having knowledge of the member's imminent retirement. And that changed because before it was as a condition of your retirement. So they made, I think, some some significant changes to the definition of um, regular compensation that are going to impact some people. No Do you question. think that they're positive? I, I think in general, yeah. I think this was an area that we spent a lot of time over the past couple of years, even at the retirement board, trying to figure out, is that regular compensation? Is it not regular compensation? Right. They I also, think yes. Is they the also answer. put in there that if you were on the job, a higher paying job for one day, uh, yeah, I get to that. Exactly. Like King for the day, they took that out, and okay. that's in response to something. That's how, what it was Boston called, King for, a, for the day. They don't call it that, but that's <laughs> essentially what it was. Um, they did take out the if you if you're an elected official and you serve one day, you get full year credit. They took that out. And that's you know, going forward, right? Yeah. No, that uh, it's it's it, for future yeah. um, so, credible service. That's right. They're not taking it away. From right. You. Okay. I have another question on. Uh, on, uh, on on, on jobs, uh, I, uh, I, when I substitute teeth, I had to deduct the, uh, the percentage for the pension. Uh, going forward, does that, uh, what does that mean to me? You've had deductions taken from your substitute teaching. Yeah. Um, that is not, your prior service is not going to be an no, issue. You may have an issue, and this is the next one I'm going to get to, is they changed the amount, um, the let me read it. The service of a state, county, or municipal employee employed or elected in a position receiving compensation of less than $5,000 annually, which service occurs on or after July 1st, 2009, shall not constitute credible service for the purposes of this chapter. That could, and this is one that I have a problem with because it impacts the innocents like yourself and like potentially the lunch lady, potentially call firefighters. And what it does is it says if you make less than five thousand dollars annually, you're not getting credible service. Okay, okay, but I made fourteen thousand one hundred and twenty oh. dollars as a county commissioner. Okay, but I, I no no I no no that. no no. Okay. That's not the same right. So credible service for your commission duties is not an issue. But your part time okay, so I have to make over substitution. Five, I have to make over five thousand dollars, or you won't. And get I never have because I think I think it, it, then it's not it be comes to about forty five hundred dollars. So what that tells me. Unless you know, unless I teach a summer school course, you know, which that's which exactly could, it. Yeah. So, same the person potentially like a lunch lady who yeah. doesn't work a lot of hours, maybe not get a lot of pay. It could impact their. Okay. So as a practical matter, whatever I have as far as the three highest credible years is what I have. So going forward, uh, unless I made more than five thousand dollars in any and let's say in any extra job that's right. that I had that was that could potentially be credit up credible. Mm -hmm. Then uh, that's right. You won't get you won't get credible cool. service for it. Okay, so I so I might as well stop. Well, what about now? How how does that affect uh, the so-called deferred compensation piece? Because that's what I used to contribute to before. Well, that's a good question. Because really, what you'll have to make sure is if your your service is not eligible 
for retirement deductions, and this is saying that it's yeah. not, then you'll have to make sure, A, that whoever's issuing the check doesn't deduct retirement from you, and B, they should put you on a deferred comp. Which is what I had deduction. before. And uh, it was, it, it was, it's for savings, and it was uh, pretty right. good. So anyway, so that's good to know. So the so other I, one is I similar next, to that. Next fall, it'll be, uh, it, it'll, I guess, uh, the only benefit would be to my personal satisfaction with doing it. Well, you'll still get the pay. You just won't get the credible service for it. Well, that was always something that was... And I think the other significant one is they've changed the way before, is if you worked um, as a member in two different and separate systems and you went to retire, they would combine that service. So they'd combine your salary, they'd combine yeah. your credible service, et cetera, et cetera. Now, specifically, they the legislation calls for each system to calculate your retirement as if you retired solely from that system. So essentially you'll get two separate retirement calculations. That's going forward. That's uh, for any, me uh, this section shall not apply to any member who has vested in two or more systems as of January 1st, 2010. You know actually where this is significant, it's significant to the Fire Training Academy because we did not um, make the Fire <coughs> Academy trainers most of the firemen out there, employees of the county until uh, 2001. So they're not going to make the vested section okay. for that particular piece of this there. But the vested part, okay, although I may not be vested in those other pieces, like you know, like the Howard School System That's right. or the rest of it, right. I am vested in the Bonsville County, and the contributions that I've been making have been vested to the Bonsville County retirement system. So it won't change your Bonsville County system calculation because A, you're already vested, and B, you're making more than $5,000, but it certainly does change, and in fact, it will probably prohibit you from ever becoming vested in the Harwich system because A, you're not making $5,000, so you're not getting credible service, and B, it would if you did, it would change the way they would calculate your benefit. It wouldn't be okay. added together. It would be this one and that one, and that one's going to be very small. So it's a significant change for people, I think. Um, I feel badly for a lot of the lunch ladies. That, uh, well, well, I think, you know, this is part of the problem. I'll get on my soapbox just for a second. And this is part of the problem that you make policy based on newspaper articles. It's not always well thought through, and it's not always fully vetted out in terms of what the impacts are. But I, I think in general, most of these, you know, modifications we're probably long overdue. Um, but there are going to be some impacts to some innocent members of the retirement system who are going to be probably negatively impacted by some of these changes. There's no question about that. That's it. Okay. Thank you. Anything else uh, we need to know what's going on around? Uh, uh, since nope. I've been out of communication with my telephone. A, if, uh, if you look I, your email, I sent you the uh, summary on the Cape Focus. I did. Okay, and there was a question on how exactly is that $350,000 transferred from EDC to the Cape Cod Commission that they mentioned in the, that they mentioned their meeting? I think that that's going to be discussed. Um, they were that's a grant from the EDC yeah. license plate. Okay, Are they, that's the whole, but they only have $40,000. Right. No, well, that's for, the decision for that they made. have. Five hundred thousand minus twenty for the minus twenty-five. Twenty-five right. was it? Twenty-five for the um, right for the for the, for the rest area for the rest yeah. area. Yeah. And then there's something in here for twenty. Okay. So, but it's also then the question becomes: Is this a, a three hundred fifty total with? Divide by two or three years over time. Is it over time? Yeah, well, that, that's that's no. That, well, well, that's going to um, that's going to be. Uh, I think the EDC is uh, putting all those details together, and they're going to roll all of that out. And I really don't want to okay. be the spokesperson for them on that particular issue. Good. Okay, but time. the the if the Cape Cod focus is how much they have available to the issue in yeah. grant funds both this year and next year. I happen to be there when that vote went down and they do know what vote were. Um, I attended the EDC meeting. Okay, what did they vote? This. 
Well, I, I think that going to be there when that vote went down and they do know. What vote were? Um, I attended the EDC meeting. Okay, what did they vote? What was Well, vote? I, I think that, um, well, again, I think I would rather uh, the EDC, um, they are putting forward their, their comments, so I would rather not. Um, if they're going to, yeah. They're going to issue their own their own rule out statement, right. so I, I, think I, I don't want to. Uh, yeah, when Pat's here, Bill, next yes. time or, or whenever I, the, ri the situation is right, like let, let's let Pat, you know, uh, okay. bring that it's to not, It's okay. not, However, all of the details have not yet been worked out, so for me okay. to speak about it right, right now would be a little bit premature. My concern, you know, my concern is that if uh, at, uh, an or at this group in their minutes, which have gone out to several people, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're talking about this uh, you know, fund transfer. And I frankly didn't know. To, I knew that we'd been talking about it, but I didn't know that it had been. You know, it was done. I think I, I, I'm just meeting what I consider to be my responsibility to find out what's, what's going on. And when will I know? Or when will I be told? Um, hopefully, uh, I thought it might be this week. It looks like it might be next week, but. Um, you put that on the agenda for next week. Yes, well, let's put uh, yeah, that on. Yeah, and you know, yeah. and we'll even. I think we need to invite. Talk. They need here's to what come it says, forward. Here's what it says: Future CC Focus Steering Committee invited me to get to hear more about the core mission of the, the Cape Cod Economic Development Committee and Commission. Now that they've agreed upon a new partnership, the Cape Cod Economic Development Council is granting okay. three hundred fifty thousand for commission and consolidating administration with the CCEDDC. This meeting will also review the stats of the Cape Cod project. Right. Well, Duly noted. Duly noted is right. Um, as we sign these, uh, I don't have any other business to. Um, Do you have any uh, bolts for the uh, assembly? I would say two things. I would say that you've got an update. Um, a thorough update from the Regional Emergency Planning Committee on their sheltering plan. Do you know, you know what to say about it? <laughs> Six shelters, mm -hmm. two, two, and two. Yes, and on the 27th, they're doing their, um, their first one at yep. the Dennis Yarmouth. Yeah, they're doing two. a DUI demonstration. On and it's going to be a uh, role play. There you go, yeah. 10,000 shelters, 750 volunteers. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a good day. And I would do an update on the, um, I, I, I missed it, but I have uh, Beth's copy here from um, on the summer food program. And you can do this, you can take us, you can, you can invite them to that. It's free food. Yeah, I have a, you'll another be popular. Great, um, yeah, that you can read and, and what is, yes, what is the date on that again? July 8th. July 8th is the it's beginning of that. Yeah, you can take it. Yeah. July 8th is a Wednesday. They serve great burgers. Great burgers. So, I will say that. Um, and we're working on a few issues with the food program. You'll probably see some emails flying about between Beth and RDL and I, myself. I do also want to say that um, uh, the state senator stopped in here and he said he was going over to talk about the wind citing um, oh, yeah. the EFSB. Uh, the Cape Cod Commission did file to have that reviewed. Yeah, there's a, uh, uh, a press release out about that. Yes, here. and there, if anyone is um, wondering, I know that this is a very hot issue. It is, um, it's a it's a passionate issue on both sides, and unfortunately, each side feels they're uh, tremendously right. And uh, having been through last uh, the campaign last year and talking to people from one end of the Cape to the other that ultimately came up a lot and uh, I got to appreciate that those people who were um, for it uh, were all were for it for all the reasons that we are uh, that anyone would support alternate energies because uh, we're behind uh, we're late and many people feel no matter what the cost even if it is going to cost uh, five times as much to in our electrical bills now this is some people's opinion it's it's not the um, it, it's it's what we get for not having this done sooner and and let's go forward uh, some people might have concern about the money 
Yeah, I do think that there are those two people who just don't want them out there because it's going to interfere with either their uh, aesthetic view or, but that, that group I found to be a very minor group. There are passionate feelings against it that, that are almost lying on spiritual, and then for the Wampogs it is a spiritual um, okay. uh, belief. So, so I'm, what I'm saying is, uh, as this goes forward, we are not disparaging, and this is not about the merits of the project. Uh, it is about the uh, the fact that the EFSB has uh, jumped over and avoided dealing with uh, the regional review, which probably would have uh, gone very, very uh, much in favor, because uh, there wasn't much they could really say one way or the other, and it, it hurts jurisdiction. Uh, and uh, and sovereignty of the Cape Cod Commission Act, and that is what's the issue, mm -hmm. not the project. Yeah. And right. if anyone uh, wants to have um, a, a, to look at uh, the position uh, that is being taken, that they can go on to the CapeCodCommission.org website, and there is a statement uh, about this matter on their website that details the position of the Cape Cod Commission and County's position on this. So I just wanted to state that for the camera. And Bill, did you have anything to say? Well, I did vote uh, for the procedural denial of it for right. the same reason. Right, exactly, as we all did. So, um, yeah, uh, to, oh, that was on the previous commissioners. Okay. It was on the Cape Cod okay. Commission, yeah. the procedural denial, which has led to this appeal issue. That's exactly that right. Really we weren't given step by the year, uh, by the electoral citing board. expedite permitting processes of utility. However, by giving a blanket permit, all utilities, including any power plants, very broad uh, act, and although it's done to, uh, because we're all concerned about our global uh, warming issues and our energy issues, uh, it is again one of those, those um, as you said, even with the retirement, it's uh, again one of these uh, uh, acts that have been uh, taken by people in the executive offices of the state, and uh, are we looking at the long-term consequences of this? So that is the the issue, and people really should take a look at um, of what 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 that means for their local community. Because although you might want as many windmills as possible. You're not going to want a power plant that's going to help spark those windmills and and produce that energy when it's um, when it's down. And you might not have anything to say about that by pushing this legislation. So um, that's what's at stake. Um, and just one other thing, I'm, I I uh, actually wasn't here last Wednesday. Um, um, I don't know we had the meeting with the League of Women Voters. Yes, oh, yeah. tell us. Oh, uh, it was wonderful. Did you uh, well, I saw the letter uh, from Jerry. She thought you were great. Yeah, well, everybody was great. I'll just share. This is the, our standard, uh, um, our standard. Uh, um, when I was at uh, uh, Mary, when I worked for Mary, we used to, there was a lot of people having babies, and the guys, um, uh, Jim Reedy, my friend Jack Hanlon, and myself. We'd have to get them present, and we were bats like us. We didn't have to get them, so we had the stand. We call it standard product 82, and we just got a thing with you know baby care products and stuff. <laughs> in it, and we just did that. So this is my standard product 82 when well, I do hello, these things. Well, hello, Maggie. Um, How are you? Were you over there before. at uh, that meeting? She, do you have any, you have you don't have anything? Thank you. Working on that letter is coming okay. from me unless you tell me otherwise. No, that sounds good. And um, uh, so we had. Um, uh, George did an overview of the health department. Um, Mike McGuire did an overview of uh, cooperative extension, and Patty Daly did an overview of some of the commission stuff that's going on. Excellent. Everybody did a great job. We had 14 people from the League of Women Voters there, so that was 
uh, impressive they were received. Really, right? And what we are working on now, I asked Bill Clark, one of the things they asked to see was the new farm, the re revised farm. I said, that's okay. terrific. We are trying to put together a little tour, as Bill Clark has done previous summers. Who, who, was um, it? who gave the presentation from the co-op? Co Mike, uh, Mike McGuire. Yeah. He did a similar one here. He broadened it yes. a bit. Did a great yeah, job. He's very good. Um, I did my little PowerPoint thing. They like that. Um, we're trying to put together a tour to get Bill to <coughs> secure an RTA bus for August, I think it's 12th, the second Wednesday in August. Um, you guys, obviously, what we I would suggest we do is we come in and maybe sign. Is that when they had the farm day? No, that's no. the following week. <laughs> and do the farm tour and then maybe a few other sites that either George and, and Bill pick that might be of interest. So they're aware of that. We're trying to put that together. So that will be so, our And they're going to be event. invited on that? They'll the, be invited. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. And, uh, with you guys and the assembly. We'll that is assembly. a great um, tour. And uh, maybe we can get Steve to come along. Sure. You can yeah. tour the, you you can can film um, all the wondrous yeah. things that the cooperative uh, I, is I've, involved I've done with. that tour with the, uh, with the alternative septics. And I, I've done a, a video tour through the assembly for the, uh, the opening of the jail. Mm -hmm. So we're we're ready, willing, and able to follow your leadership to, um, to uh, go on uh, so that's good. location. Yeah, that's good. When we did that. Excuse me. On the on the on the septic uh, betterment. I have to keep the meeting no, open while we sign okay. these, correct? Remember, we we, we, we don't. to somebody's house. So I can adjourn. We can adjourn. Yeah. Or yeah, actually, go into recess because he's going to go over to assembly. Um, assembly. Yeah. All right. Um, I, if we have no other, now it's just a, a this type of talk, so uh, I would like to make a motion to recess until... Uh, I, I, is only he going to the assembly? I, I, then we're adjourned. Then we are adjourned. There's no quorum. There is no quorum, so... Uh, Other than so